Thank you very much for the introduction. It's a pleasure to speak again at NOAA conference this morning. And also thank you, Adam, for the introduction how important personalization is. So um, I try to explain you in the next minutes how you can make money out of that kind of big data with personalization. So, Intelligence uh, is in the B2B space, so we don't offer advertising. We offer, in the end, the core technology behind and uh, using a lot of big data analytics and machine learning, uh, providing this for you. And the core technology is a cloud solution for personalization and customer intelligence. So we predict the data as a user comes to the site, renders the site live, learn from that, and that drives the conversion rates. You can um, imagine something like Google is doing where the site renders live when you come to the site. And it's not a steady portal anymore. I come back to that point later. And I started in 2009, so the technology is quite complex. We needed two, three years to develop the platform. And uh, we are mainly enterprise software people from SAP, uh, IBM, Salesforce, and some marketing guys as well. Uh, we are funded from uh, many entrepreneurs and angel investors and some family offices. And typically, our solution creates uplifts of 15 to 30 percent. It's depending sometimes uh, on the use case and the industry focus. And um, because we don't want to offer you a big solution like SAP, where you need millions of money to, and uh, years to integrate that, we offer even performance deals, performance deals where you can be break even in below, uh, let's say, an average six months. So personalization, um, as Adam just said, is not just changing um, your business. I would say it's changing your whole life. So. You all look on your mobile phone here quite often, um, checking everything. Um, we optimize websites and mobile. But as you see, the Tesla is already predicting you where to drive on the um, Google Maps system in the morning. They use machine learning really to the maximum scale. And this is really just the beginning, because in the end, everything will be personalized. You get health information from your body. Uh, everything in your surrounding and your life is uh, getting uh, data-based information, and without personalization, you don't, cannot cope with that because it's just too much information. So what is the current status? So the market for all of these, you know, it's, it's really quite early. Um, the big data analytics market is uh, just a segment of the whole 100 billion big data market, and it's growing uh, till 10 billion in 2020. And so currently our sales focus is uh, Central Europe. We're expanding step by step now over the next years uh, across Europe. We have some clients in US already, and uh, LATAM is uh, much stronger than we believed in the beginning, and we are um, working with a lot of partners there. Um, also tech partners for integration, like hybrid shop system integrations, we uh, work with a lot of agencies who do the system integration for us. So um, how is all that working? So how can you generate with your business money with big data? So the data is not that you need a big Hadoop cluster in your uh, basement where you put in all your legacy data. Uh, big data is already there. Your mobile phone has more data uh, created this year than all the years before together. So when you see here the different data points, this is not created uh, by combining ERP data in your basement with CRM and uh, trying to figure out what to do. This stuff is coming live when the user is coming to your website. You can use it then. So then with this kind of data, Google is using, for example, 200 data points live when it renders a search result. Um, for your business, normally, it's easy to use just a time of the day, um, a Google keyword, and a bit of CRM data, and then you can already make massive uplifts. So the data is there, so this is not the topic. Um, let's take an easy example. A lot of insurances, banks, fashion sites have this kind of portal uh, homepage where you show everything together. Uh, it's often political decisions what's shown on these sites, so it's not that an algorithm defines uh, what you show. And, but this isn't optimal, especially you show every user is the same website, doesn't matter when he comes, what his content um, co context is, and also if it's uh, the purchase intent, you still show the same website. Um, yes, you do sometimes A-B testing already, you try to find a better layout, you try to find uh, optimizations of buttons, but still you show the same website to everybody. And so the uplift uh, you will reach with that kind of testing is just limited because it's, you, you, it's just not possible to make more out of that. Um, our approach is that if you come on a website, we, should, we try to um, 
take the data live which you were bringing. This can be, in the left case, uh, CRM data, so somebody is logged into the site. In the case in the middle, um, the guy comes with an iPhone. Um, we have the time and day parameters, and we can see that he's in a totally other context. In the morning at 7, you are never in the context of buying something directly on a fashion shop, but you're probably browsing because you're standing at a bus stop, so the site should look different and offer you uh, support to um, collect your stuff and then come back in the evening and buy it, and then the site looks different in the evening again. So in the end, you need three core elements. Uh, most of you have an analytics system running on your websites. Um, in the end, Google Analytics having a lot of data in, but you cannot divide the data between the user groups. It's really difficult to do that. So this is the first step where you're providing a sales funnel analytics and customer intelligence when you inject CRM data. And then if we know who is coming to the site and identify the different user groups, you can start segment this. You can start uh, building uh, custom experiences, which means, in the end, variations of the site. And then the third part is, because there are hundreds of versions of the site, you need a lot of machine learning to render all that. If you try to do it manual, um, you stop at an A, B, whatever, C test, because it's just extremely complex. And because big data is not easy, we also work together with a lot of partners for conversion consulting, for data science, and system integration. And if you put this all together, you get these hundreds of uh, millions of site variations, which is not that you need 5,000 pieces of content. There are just three, four pieces of content, different button colors, and so on. But this generates massive uplift. If you put it all together, so the fuel is, and it's called data is a new oil, so the oil is, in the end, the data from different kind of parts of the web. And then we fuel this all into the cloud, um, generate um, user clusters out of that in real time. The machine learning creates all that. And then we render live the whole website and the whole sales funnel. So there are some clients of us who stop their website, and we are on top of the content management system rendering all that because you don't need this static page anymore. And this brings, in the insurance case, 62% uplift in, at the moment. And this is not just working for insurances, it's working for all the different segments. We tried so many use cases. For gaming, we optimize a lot of affiliate, we sell more credit cards, we sell, can sell more shoes with that. Um, you can sell it for electronic retailers. Um, it's working with um, used car sites, uh, classifieds. For example, the site for BMW has to look totally different than the site for Audi. And even that can make women more happy if you do it for flower sites. Um, if you want to know how that works exactly with your business, uh, we have a booth downstairs. You can just go down the stairs and we help you with that. Thank you very much.